I think it's fairly obvious from his behavior that Nick Hartley is one of those tragic Vietnam casualties that we've all heard about. He's a man who comes back and can't adapt to the world that he's come back to. In effect, a walking time bomb ready to explode at any moment. Well, that's a horrifying thought. I think Jack is right. Everything is pointing to Nick now. I was so blind, I should have been able to see what was coming. Oh, Cece, how could you possibly have seen it? There were indications. I just wasn't quick enough to recognize them for what they were. Oh, no, Cece, you must not blame yourself. Don't worry, it won't last long. Have you found out anything? Uh, nothing definite, Mr. C. Personally, I think it's Nick that's involved with Kelly disappearing. We went over to his apartment. There were a lot of pictures all around, all over the place. And I found a piece of material that I think came from Kelly's blouse. Oh, oh Lord, no. then it's true. Uh, I put out an APB on both of them, but I'm not going to make any presumptions about Nick's involvement until I see the lab report on that blouse. Cruz, we don't have time to wait for lab reports. Cruz, if Nick is anything... Like Peter Flint, I think that's what we're worried Sophia, about. Sophia, it's a little premature to be speculating about stuff like that. We don't even have, have one solid piece of evidence. Yet. I don't give a damn about that. If Nick Hartley is innocent, then he can come and, and clear himself easily enough, but he hasn't come forward. And I want that man brought back then and found. Now, if you are not willing or able to do that, I'll go over your head. Do you understand?